almost all geocaching activity on the planet is tracked on one single site, and that is geocaching.com. If you wanted to hide a cache, you would register it here, and when you discover caches, you would log those discoveries on geocaching.com. But in order to do that, you need to create an account or membership. So first of all, you'd visit geocaching.com and then click on the Create a Membership link. Now, you're given an option whether you want a basic membership or a premium membership. You're just going to choose get a basic membership. That will serve for almost everything that we want to do. You need to create a username. It says between 2 and 20 characters. So I would do it something like and it tells me that that username is currently available. If it wasn't, then I would have to change it until the one I had chosen was flagged as green and available. We type in a password. Being careful to type it in the same both times because we'll get that message if we don't. and then a primary email address. We have to re-enter the email address so it knows that we've got it right. We put in our first and last names. You can choose to get a weekly newsletter. In this case I'm going to suggest probably no and also no for notify me of third-party offerings. We have to check that we've read the terms of use in the privacy agreement and then click on create my account and the account is created. Even though your account's been created it's not actually usable until you validate it. That's why it's very important to provide an active email address because your validation code will be sent to that email address. So here we're looking at a Gmail that I've received. Now it sometimes takes a few hours to receive these emails so it's always good to set up your account sometime ahead of when you actually want to use it. So in this case here's my validation code. I could copy that and I could paste it into the validation area on the geocaching.com site or even simpler I can just click on this link it takes me to geocaching.com and it informs me that my account is validated. Once it's validated I can now log the geocaches that I've found and I can also post geocaches that I have hidden. My account is now fully operational.